Right there you see my long coated German Shepherd Lobo. He is attached to my beach cruiser bike that I use as my dog jogger bike. We're about to go for a ride. I thought I'd take you guys along. Oh, wait, wait. Just a minute. He's excited. I thought I'd show you my setup. I use the uh, Springer Dog Exerciser. I don't like to use a dog harness when I do this because on a powerful dog like this with a harness, you know, with his high prey drive, if he saw a squirrel and ran off to the side, he could just rip the bike over. So what I did was replace the cord attachment that comes with one of these. I put a D-ring on it. I use a short lead to a flat collar. And then I have this longer lead here. I attach to a pinch collar. He's not pulling from this at all. But if there's a distraction or something and I need to give him a correction, I can reach down and do that if need be. He's pretty well trained, so I don't really have to do that, but I still leave it on there all the time. Now you'll hear on this ride uh, me from time to time make a series of clicking noises that sound like this. I do that because it tells him to uh, watch my front tire and uh, know that we're going to turn. Let's go. Hi. Now I let him set the pace. He goes pretty fast at first. He really likes to open up. I apologize if you're getting a lot of wind noise. We're riding on a bike, what do you expect? riding uh, alongside a big golf course over here right now on the far side of Lake Hiawatha. Hiawatha Golf Course. How you doing? Good.
beautiful day. A little overcast, but uh, pretty nice. Right over here is uh, Lake Hiawatha we're coming across right now. Again, that's Lake Hiawatha right there. We're in Minneapolis, Minnesota. The Twin Cities are a beautiful area. Full of all kinds of parks and trails and wooded areas. You wouldn't know that all the uh, hiking videos I uh, film with my dogs are all done right in the heart of the city. Not many places like this. Minnesota has uh, over like 11,228 lakes or something like that. I Lots of water in this state. And again, I just let Lobo set the pace. I don't push him at all. He decides how fast we want to go. If he wants to stop, we'll stop. I exercised uh, Kurgan and Ogren earlier this morning down at the river, so that's why uh, Lobo's getting exercised on the bike right now. This is just another of the many ways that uh, I exercise my dogs. Hi. Hi. Leave the duck alone. Or no, Lobo. Lobo, no. Leave the duck. Come on. You can see he listens pretty good, even with the duck right in front of him. He wanted it, but he listened. That's all you can ask. has an extremely high prey drive. We're going over the Minnehaha Creek right now. Again, that clicking noise is to let him know when we're going to turn. He then watches the front tire to see which way we go.
I'll pause here while we're at the light. All right, Bo, let's go. This is a great way to exercise your dog. I've taught many dogs over the years to uh, use one of these dog joggers. There's several different varieties. This is just the one I've used. All of them look like they're pretty decent. All right, I'll move over for you. But my blind shih tzu wouldn't work. <laughs> Enjoy your ride. Hi. Now at this part we ride on the sidewalk because the parkway is too narrow for cars to safely pass me with the dog attached to my bike. Again the clicking noise warns him when we're going to turn. about to go over a bridge that goes over the Minnehaha Creek again from the uh, Lake Hiawatha. Oh, there's the lake. Sets the pace.
Lake Hiawatha. It'll go around the far side of the golf course. Just going, uh, going at a leisurely pace now. Again, he dictates how fast he wants to go. golf course over there on the far side. Hi. Well, to those of you who uh, made it along this far, thanks for coming along. Cool. I'm going to pause this right here. We're coming up to a hill and I don't want you to deal with all the jarring. We'll uh, unpause it when we get to the top.
Well, we just made it up that long hill and we're on the final stretch back. Well, thanks for coming along. We'll let him in the yard here for a second. This home protected by the Second Amendment. Hua, damn straight. Again, I thought I'd show you my bike setup real quick before we end this. I use a uh, beach cruiser type bike. I prefer to use a bike with a coaster brake and not hand brakes, meaning when you pedal backwards that stops the bike. Gives you a lot more control over it. The bicycle dog jogger on it's the Springer dog exerciser. Like, subscribe, and share. That's all, folks.